Hey, what's up, you guys? I'm back on Mars, and today we're going to be talking about an unfortunate event, and that is the fact that Akira Toriyama has passed away. Now, if you don't know who Akira Toriyama is, he is the creator of my favorite anime of all time, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super GT, all that stuff. Uh, I just figured this out like a couple, what, minutes ago, and... Um, least to say I've been pissed. Uh, this video is going to be a very, very raw and unedited just, I'm just going in, dude. I don't even get, I don't care. I don't give a fuck. So I've been like on this thing where I'm not cursing, but guys, like you hear me congested, like I'm just fucking irritated. And this shit has just been the camel that broke the straw. Like it's, I don't even, I can't even fucking word right now. This was the straw that broke the camel's back for me. Like, so, for every month of 2024, somebody personal to me, whether it's a family member or a celebrity of mine who I looked up to, they've just been passing away every single month. And at first, it's like, oh man, like you're, you're, you're heartbroken. Now you're like, at the second time, you're like, dang, like damn, bro, like we just gonna keep just doing this, all right, and then the third time, now this is like my, my like, most, one of my most like looked up to celebrities of all time, and he's a writer, and he just happens to be the guy who like, first of all, I wanna say thank you to Akira Toriyama that like, I wanna say thank you because he just made my childhood, man, like, Dragon Ball, I was introduced to this show at a point in time in my life where, like, my life was just turning upside down. I was eight. My parent, like, dude, there was just so much stuff going on. And it's, none of, it's not really any of your guys' business, but all you guys need to know is that this show came and, like, it, it just, shit was hitting the fan in my life. And I discovered Dragon Ball Z Kai, and, and, and the opening is like, don't stop, don't stop, we're in luck now. Don't stop, there's so much to be found. We can't find paradise. All you have to do is go raging soul or whatever, dragon soul, whatever. And like, just seeing that as a kid, it just like inspired me to just keep going in life, whatever I'm going through, the characters, all that shit. And so now I'm 21 years old, 13 years have gone by. I never got to meet the guy. I never got to say, how I never got to tell him how much he's impacted my life and I'll, I never will be able to tell him now because he's dead and you know I believe in a, in the Christian God and the Christian faith you know whatever faith you are cool you know in heaven I, 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 I hope to that we cross paths in the next life you know, that Dragon Ball song, it's called We Were Angels or whatever. Now I'm just going to be having that shit on fucking blast repeat, you know, because wow, this shit fucking sucks. I, 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 I don't really like cry when this type of shit happens. Um, the only other video that I've made where I was talking about a death of a celebrity was like uh, freaking Etika. And that was like, how many years? That was like uh, five years ago. Five years ago. And now here we are five years later and Akira Toriyama is passing away. Bro, 2020, the 2020 decade has been fucking garbage, bro. Like, I hate to be, I, I'm usually like positive, optimistic, all this other stuff. But guys, like, I'm just so, I'm so done. I'm just so done. Like, I don't understand what the fuck is the point, like, I just, wow, fucking wow. Dragon Ball sparking whatever, Budokai Tenkaichi 4 was announced last year, and now he won't even be able, Akira won't even be able to see all the people, all the hype playing it. I, I definitely got to fucking pre-order the game now and play it and make videos of it because, oh my gosh, like, it's just not fair, dude. And it's like, his family, I, I just, my heart goes out to them. But he had a family around the entire world that loved him. 
and 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 I was one of those people. <sighs> oh my gosh, dude! Like I I just I hate this, bro. I hate having to constantly like. 2024 has just been like terrible, bro. It's just like just constant, like whether it's stuff in my personal life, college, uh, you know, <sighs> celebrities passing away. Every month there's a new celebrity I know that just happens to go. And it's like, oh my gosh. I shouldn't be cursing. I should repent for cursing. And I will. But right now, dude, I'm just so out of it. I'm so pissed. I'm so upset. I'm so angry. It's just, bro. March was supposed to be Mars month. And now it's a curatorium and passing away month and whatever else. I shouldn't be a Debbie Downer, but sometimes I just like to look at things realistically and say like, dude, this shit fucking sucks. This anime created a whole like genre and now we'll, we'll get no more. I want no more Dragon Ball. Because this man is dead. If they continue the series of creating new Dragon Ball, now it's just going to be watered down shit. You know, you see what they fucking, they're doing to fucking the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Once Stan Lee passed away, rest in peace to Stan Lee as well. <coughs> I'm congested. Once he passed away, I think they just should have stopped. But you know how Hollywood is. You know how people are with money. You know, they're just going to keep a series going because fuck you guys, give us your money. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Like, oh my gosh, bro. 2024, you are probably the worst year in recent memory for me. Like already in the first three months. Oh my gosh, you shouldn't write off a year just because it's been three months in. You don't know what's going to happen yet. We got nine more months left to fucking go in this godforsaken year, dude. Like, I'm so mad, bro. I'm just so upset. It's like every time I'm trying to just deal with this, like, just constant shit. You know, I'm not able to do my channel as I would like. I'm not able to, like, dude, it's just one fucking thing after another, bro. And... You know, this is gonna this is gonna seal the deal right here. All right, so I ordered this. I'm not gonna try and show the information because it's gonna show my actual government name and all that stuff. And you guys don't need to see any of that. But what you will see is that this is a package right here. I got delivered, and now we're gonna fucking unbox it, and uh, we're not gonna put it on. But I'll show you guys what it was. You guys are gonna see it in future videos on this fucking hell. I didn't want to have to do it like this. I should have just unboxed it sooner. But the craziest thing is, it got here on the day of, I think he passed away. On the day he passed away, this 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 package got here. And so I'm just, the crazy, it's just the crazy things about my life. That I don't know why they happen, but they just happen and I have no control over it. So... A lot of you guys have been like, oh my gosh, Mars, we miss the old you. We miss the cursing, the raging, and all this other type stuff. Well, here you are. He's here because I'm just so cynical right now. Like, oh my gosh. Guys, do not be like me. Meaning, you know, you see me like doing all these theatrics and shit. I'm just pissed. Like, my favorite show writer of all the fucking time passed away and I'm pissed bro and I and I have the right to be pissed but here we go this was what I ordered and it got here March 1st <sighs> fuck man but I should probably like I'm I'm very congested I'm gonna just hold on hold on there has to be a tissue or something like dang I don't even I wasn't even prepared. Whatever, dude. We're gonna just kiss that as many times as we can, bro. Cause fuck, man. Oh my gosh. 
Why? Why the fuck is this happening to me? And happening not only to me, but so many other people, his family, all of us out there that just, wow, dude. Fuck this shit, man. This shit just, all right. But basically, here it is. Here, here it is. This is a gi, like t-shirt, I well, well, tank top I got. I don't know how good it's going to fit on me, but I'll be wearing it for future videos. Oh my goodness, bro. Fuck, man. Why the fuck did this shit have to fucking happen? Like, and I just had to know, like, oh my gosh. Like, the timing couldn't be any worse. I just... I just... I'm just fucking... I don't even know what to think. I don't know what to say. You guys should have heard me earlier. I was just going off, dude. <laughs> <coughs> I was just going off, like, and, um, yeah, so, let's just say, this is not, like, the worst of it, but it's definitely, I'm gonna have to just sleep on this for a couple nights. Uh, uh, I miss my family, I miss you guys. This shit just had to happen while I was here. And um, the only thing that I've learned so far is that you guys should go out there and chase your dreams. Stop bullshitting like you have all this time in the world when you really don't. I looked up the cause of death and it was a hematoma. It was like a blood clot in the brain or something. Like, dude, like... The way, the way, the ways in which humans can die is just so crazy. Like we could just die from anything. Like it's just insane. And he was 68 years old. Like you don't expect that to happen. I expect like it's, they say in boxing, one of my favorite, like my favorite sport, something that you guys now know about me, Q and A, you know, the Dragon Ball Z fighting and MMA and all this fuck. Anyways. And they say in boxing that it's the punch you don't see coming. That was, that's, that apparently this is my timer for the fucking, shut the fuck up, bro. There's no timer for this shit. Um, it's the punch in boxing that you don't see coming that hurts the most. And I did not see this shit coming. Like, there was nothing that warned me that this shit was going to happen. At all. You know, other people pass away. They're like in their 70s, 80s, 90s. The voice actress for Goku is like 90 years old. The Japanese sub or dub voice actress, she's 90 years old. She's still alive. She's still kicking. That's awesome. But I never expected the creator of my favorite anime of all time to die at 68 years old when I'm 21. I never get to meet the guy now. I just, my mind goes to dark places. It says, Mars, if only you had just, just fucking, I don't know. If only you worked harder, you could have probably, something could have happened. You could have met him. I know this is irrational, dumb thinking, but dude, like, I'm just emotional right now. I need time to grieve. This is like family members just passing away. Every time a celebrity passes away, and this one was like really close to my heart too. Like, just so drained, I'm done, I'm broke, dude. I, I just, what else could possibly go wrong this year? And I don't even wanna say that because <coughs> if, we believe, if we believe in this new age manifestation nonsense, it'll manifest it and it'll happen and all this, I'm just tired of it, man. I'm so tired of it. Wow. This man's work created a whole genre. Anime would not be what it is now without Akira Toriyama's mind and his work. 
for 40 years, basically. So for all the cunts out there, oh my gosh, like I, nah, who cares? I'm, I've already cursed a storm in this video, whatever. You're getting, I, I gotta get it out. I gotta get it out. And guys, don't be like me, don't curse, don't, you know, but this, this is a special, like, this fucking sucks. For all the cunts out there that I've met in my life, and you guys have probably met, you know, I'm not trying to judge, but these people exist. For all of you guys, for all the people out there who've been like, oh my gosh, it's just a show, it's just an anime. It doesn't mean anything, it's not real. I want to say a big fuck you because this shit runs deeper than any fucking superficial nonsensical bullshit that you constantly crave. All the social media likes, all the money, all the material possessions cannot bring this man back from death. So... I'm just, I'm just so done, man. I don't know. I don't even want to end this video. Like, can we just get a moment of silence? Like, internet is just going to be on fire tomorrow. And I'm just going to have to continue living my life like nothing is fucking happening. I debated on making this video, to be honest, because I'm trying to become a better person, try not to curse, be upset. But this is the real shit that you guys need to see. Even the most righteous men can fall into just emotional, just fucking cursing and all. Like, this is a death. Like, oh my gosh. I genuinely don't understand why it had to be now. And so... What I've always said to you guys, this has just shown me that it's 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 like time for for all of us out there that was like touched by his creative vision, his stories, his characters. It's time for us to carry his legacy. It's time for us to be creative, make our own stories, make our own characters so that we can touch the next generation because we had a Kira Toriyama. All, a lot of people had a Kira Toriyama. But the future generations, who are they gonna have to look up to? It's scary, it's a scary thought. Because one day, you know, we'll all start passing away too. And we can't escape it, no matter who we are. It's just terrible, I just. I've always been bad when it comes to stuff like this. I don't like to talk about it. <coughs> I just, it sucks. It fucking sucks. Oh my gosh. Anyways, it's been 20 minutes. This is all gonna be unedited, so. neighbors and shit bro anyways guys oh now my camera doesn't want to focus come on camera focus I'm right in front of you shit anyway guys I miss you all I gotta do better when it comes to uploading, I gotta figure out a way 
to show you guys what it means to chase your dreams because that's what Akira showed me. That's what he showed everybody that looked up to him. I'm sure there were people in his life that told him, oh, you'll never make any money uh, drawing. You'll never make any money writing. You'll never, yeah. That character of yours, ugh, what's that gonna do? You should just do something practical and shit. Now, his art and his characters make him immortal until hundreds and thousands of years go by and we just, everybody who grew up with this, everybody who grew up with this is dead and no longer here. You know, I know I'm definitely now, now, like when I, if I ever have kids, I'm definitely going to have to show them. I was already going to do it, but now I'm just going to have to do it now. They have to know what Dragon Ball was. They got to know what Dragon Ball Z and Super. I don't know about GT, but I'll probably take a crack at GT too, because wow, I guess this is how my dad felt when he showed me Bruce Lee for the first time. Like, but to be fair, Bruce Lee passed before my dad was even born. But anyways, that's a whole side tangent. Uh, yeah. This fucking sucks. It's just... I'm glad that he did live a very long, hopefully happy, filled life at 68. It seems like a lifetime from now, but time just keeps on ticking and never stops. I'll just keep talking in circles for like, what is it, 22 minutes now? But I, I just I just needed somebody to talk to about this. It's late, It's I found it's like 12 a.m., one o'clock in the morning. I was gonna watch a movie. Now I, I literally can't, I just, I'm just gonna go to bed, guys, so. If you guys have made it this far, you guys are the real ones. Um, thank you for watching this deep into the video. Uh, once again, rest in peace, Akira Toriyama. Goodbye. It's It's been nice knowing you, man. For 13 years, I watched Dragon Ball since Kai, well, and then I discovered Z and Super GT, all that stuff. And I'll never forget. <sighs> all right, man. Good night, guys. Uh, don't forget to really like, well, have a good one, guys. I don't even want to do my regular outro. Guys, I love you all. Keep living. Anything you're going through, just get through it. Pray to God about it. Please keep living because you don't know, you know, who will miss you when you're gone. And I served the guy, didn't, the, the dude didn't even know me. And he just, how was he going to know that I was going to feel this way about him passing away? He didn't even know who I was. But that just shows you the power of you know, story writing, storytelling, creative vision, talents, drawing, anime. It just reaches all over the globe, touches so many people throughout generations. You never even know who you who you looks up to you until this happens. And then now you'll never know the impact you leave on this world. So just strive to do good things in this world, guys. I love you all. Have a good one. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.